Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and we are going to be playing Kenshi today, which is a game we played in the past, but there's been several updates, and if you're new to the series, fantastic. I believe you're going to like it. It's a really fun game, but it's very slow starting off because you have to make the money to be able to support the game play, meaning that uh, for you to be able to build cities and towns, get people to be behind you, that all requires money. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a brand new game and we're going to go ahead and go with the trader because he is going to increase uh, the ability to get to a point where we can fight and build our army and go and conquer other locations much, much faster. So first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and increase our production research and building speed because like I said, I don't want to be sitting around waiting, especially for us to do it because every, the length of the video would be tremendous. It takes hours to do the research. If we increase the speed, it reduces that time and then allows us to play the game more. May end up having to do a lot of the stuff offline, but otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and create our character. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the face. I think the face is actually fine. We'll go ahead and keep that. We'll go ahead and um, lighten his skin tone. Because we're going to have all of our guys look exactly the same. And that is so that whenever we become the Hellions of Nox, which this guy is Nox, and everyone who's behind them are the Hellions, and all of them are going to be named Hellion. Uh, we're going to be taking out cities, but we want to be inconspicuous. All of our guys look the same. That way, if someone dies, they think it may be Nox. And by the way, um, if you die, you're dead. It's one of those games. So uh, Nox is his name. And we're going to go ahead and keep everything the way it is. want him to be kind of different in his facial structure than everyone else but as far as his body it's going to be pretty much the same hundreds 100.5s all the way up and then everything else is pretty much even so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing we want to do is zoom out and say hallelujah because we are exactly where i want to be all right so let's go ahead and press them by the way whenever you start a game you are put in a random location or a random city to start. And we started exactly where I want to be, which is Skinner's Room. So, as a trader, this area, what I, which I call the, the trifecta or the triangle of awesomeness, these three cities, plus this little area here, are the perfect places to make money. To make money... Uh, normally, you would try to find a trader in here, but I think there's only a police building. I don't see any other places that are that would sell goods or trade. I think this is just a building up here. Yes. So I'm not seeing anything that says any kind of trade or trading or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and go up here, which is a construction um, merchant. Now, construction merchant sells a lot of things that the actual trader does that we would want to buy and sell. So, we're going to go up here and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we have in our inventory. Let's go ahead and click on our guy, see where he's at. Alright, also you can fast forward. You can do buy two times and buy four times. So, we'll do that. Now, uh, he's running kind of slow because he's carrying equipment that you start with to be able to sell. And then you take that and you use that money to buy. So, we'll go ahead and talk to this guy right here. And show me what you got. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. And then take a look at what he has. So, first off... The way this works is you have the information starting from the top. It's luxury goods is what we're selling. Its weight is very important. Uh, as you can see, we are 23 weight over 16 right now, which is moderate, meaning that he can still run, 
But if he goes any further over that, he's going to be walking. He won't be able to run anymore because he's so weighed down. Then you have the value, the trade value, which are the same. Uh, I don't think that's different any at, at any point. I've never seen those two be, the diff be different. And then you have the average price. So the value or trade value is how much you will get for selling this here. The average price is 400 and you can see that there is a mark markup of 88%, which is below 100%, meaning that you could buy this and make money off of it, but by selling it here, you will lose money on it. You'll lose roughly $45 or 45 cats is what the money is called. So we do not want to sell this here in most cases, but in our case, depending on what they're selling depends on if we want to sell it or not. So then we also have this right here, which again is a mark down compared to average price, but depending on what they're selling and how much they're selling it for depends on if we're going to buy it or not. So first off, we want to look at what they are selling, which they are roughly selling a few things. So we notice here that we can buy build uh, we can sell building materials here at a 10 percent increase and we can buy chain here at um a at 91 percent and sell it somewhere else to make money and that's pretty much it there's only three items that you can really deal with here and we never deal with leather because leather is so it's such a little amount but we are going to go ahead and make some money so we're going to go ahead and sell these because essentially they were free to us. We could go somewhere else and try to sell them and make some money on them. But really, I'm not worried about it. I just want the money so that I can buy things to sell at other places. So we're going to go ahead and buy uh, armor plating, as many as we can. And we're going to go ahead and look at our map. And the first place we're going to go is to Fort Simon, which is just right across the way, actually. Over this hill and up right there, you can barely see it. Actually, you can't see it at all, but I'm able to click over there where the, where the actual fort is. And we'll go ahead and look at where our guy is and go full speed over there. So while he's running there, um, I could go ahead and just fast forward to that part. But I want to go ahead and talk about the character themselves. Each character has skills. You want to definitely skill them up. And some skills are always working without you doing anything. So let's go ahead and pull up the stats. For him, right now, strength is always working. Because of the fact that he's carrying heavy weight. And whenever we get to a point where we have all 20 of our guys, we are going to put as much weight on them as we can so we can get their strength up really fast. But while they have all that weight on them, we're also going to have them fighting. So it's going to increase their strength. It's going to increase their toughness. And it's going to increase dexterity. Toughness is um, increased by being hit. Dexterity is increased by, um, by fighting, which gives you the skills of hitting faster and blocking better. Then you also have weapon skills, which increase the amount of damage you deal as well as how well you work with that weapon which will end up with a katana um, of, of some sort because they're the fastest and they do the most damage uh, well I mean they don't do the most damage but they do a, a <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word adequate damage for the amount of speed that they have versus say a heavy weapon all right, then you come over here, you have melee skills, which again, they increase the frequency of attack, the, uh, the chance of attacking or uh, blocking or getting blocked. So those are good things. And then of course your defense, which increases the chance of blocking incoming attacks, getting hurt and all of that. Thievery is something that's brand new to the game and you do that by increasing your lockpick skill. The reason you need that is if you take over a town and something's locked, you can unlock it. Also, if you fight cannibals, cannibals do not take prisoners. They, well, they do, 
they take prisoners rather, but they are either kill, they'll either kill you straight out, or they will run in and grab you and take you back to their camp, which will then have you locked up. Which by then, hopefully, you will have some kind of thieves skills to get yourself out. Also, by being trapped in a a cage you can increase your thief skills by just practicing trying to escape all right so um let's go back in there and then you have athletics which is one that's always working by you running around everywhere the more weight you have on you the more the athletics goes up also you have field medic which you can set by pressing shift and click medic so now from now on if he gets hurt he will always heal himself as long as he has medical supplies on him or a first aid kit. You can also have a splint on you in case one of your limbs gets hurt. So there's all of that. I believe it was talked about at some point, I don't know if it still is, that your arms could actually be cut off. Why is he running so slow? All right. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, engineer is whenever you're fixing or building different buildings. Weaponsmith is, of course, whenever you are actually creating weapons. Armorsmith is whenever you're creating armor. Science is whenever you're uh, researching. And then laboring is farms and as well as um, mining. Which is something that will, at some point, get automated completely by just having the right kind of skills. That said, uh, mining does end up becoming... Um, I'm trying to think of the words. It does end up becoming a issue of your prospecting. What your prospecting uh, is showing as far as what ores are available... So, first thing we want to do is, want to, of course, go to the trader, which is right over here somewhere. There he is. Go right in here. Right in here. Go in there. And I think he's right over here. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can sell for. It's 108, so we're going to make all the profits. And now let's go ahead and see what he's selling. The narcotics. As well as chain, which is still... Um, I think that's about the same price as they were selling it at the other place. But he also has fabrics. I think that's what we started with, was it not? Fabrics. And then he has medical. Uh, tools. We should have probably sold the tools here. So that's pretty much it. So we want to go ahead and make sure we get all the narcotics. Get all the narcotics. And robotic components. And that's all of our money. So now we're going to go up. So now we're going to go ahead and go up to eye socket, which is this location where we're going to buy chain. I believe that's where we buy chain. That's where you get uh, the good stuff. That's where you make all your money at. So we're going to go ahead and start heading this way, I believe. Let's see. Yes. Going to head straight over here. And let's go ahead and take a look at where he is. He's weighed down by a lot. So we definitely want to go ahead and uh, get him moving pretty fast i think what i'll do is go ahead and skip ahead a little bit because it's going to take a little bit of time to get there if i get attacked at all then i will definitely show you my death <laughs> okay so we've come across some fighting and it's right next to this little building this place you can actually sell at but the problem is, is they do not have very many guards so i'm going to go ahead and post up right here and just take a look at what's going on. Okay, they killed them. It looks like they actually had some traders that were in the area, or they just had a lot of people here. Let's go ahead. These were dust bandits, so we definitely want to get their loots. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and move up to them and get them. There's a few things that you can get on these guys that are worth a lot of money. 
One of them is right off the bat the Heart Protector. And if they have certain helmets, they're worth money as well. Their swords are junk. I mean, they, they have decent swords, but they are not worth even picking up because they're either too heavy or they're too long and they take up the space that you could actually have the heart protectors in. I think I'm gonna also move this up to here, Phil. Stack? They stack. Okay, cool. And, okay, we got two of them. Maybe, did we get three of them? Yeah, we got three. And there's a guy over here. Hopefully we can find the captain. Hopefully he died instead of, unless he ran. If he ran, then that kind of sucks. But the captain drops really, really good expensive armor. And we definitely want that money. It's like 800 cats, which is really good for the prices. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and loot him and then check his helmet. His helmet only sells for 200. But we don't have we have enough space that we can pick it up and wow we're we're kind of lucky because those guys are coming right at me oh one's coming right at me still um hopefully he gets gets okay he got caught up in that fight so that's good but another good thing is that. These guys are more of those bandit types. Let's go ahead and see if there's a captain within them. There is number of there's actually more than one thing that you can get off a of captain that's really good, and that is his armor and his weapon are worth really good money. So you can make probably about thirteen hundred or more off of those two items. So let's go ahead and head in here. Hopefully the person that you trade with is in here. If not, then we'll have to wait until he's done fighting. And then sell to him, and then go back out, get more things, sell to him again, make some money, uh, which is what it's all about. That's the main thing about having an army and having a city and having all of that is that it costs money to be able to afford those things. So he is, I'm guessing, yeah, I can't even target him to talk to him. So I guess I have to wait until these guys are done fighting. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find the guy. He's usually the one with the backpack. If he dies, though, we are going to definitely go for him because we want his backpack. Okay, he didn't die. And was that the captain? Are they still fighting the captain now? Or is there's the captain. Uh, do I? How much space do I have? I don't have enough space. Oh, I do. I do probably. Actually, let's go ahead and go loot him. Because if I don't have space here, I can I can make up the space. I can I can range, range it. I can put his weapon in my weapon slot. His armor, I may have to give him one of these. Or one of these. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just, where is my guy? Make sure he's heading to it. Okay, he's just really slow. He has a lot of weight on him right now. So, there we go. Look at that guy. Oh, wow. That takes so many slots. Uh, I, there we go. And there's nowhere to put it here. So, we'll go ahead and just put it in his inventory. We won't actually put it on his body because these guys aren't smart enough, I don't think to put the armor back on themselves. If they will pick something up off the ground, but I don't think they can take it out of their own inventory. So let's go in here and hopefully we won't get attacked again. Actually, is that guys? Nope, that's trees. All right, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> he's really weighed down now. He's, he's not used to wearing uh, or holding that much armor and this weapon and then all of that. He's probably, yeah, he's <laughs> 52 over 16. Of course, the 16 will go up as you level up in your strength. Uh, until then. Okay, where's my guy I need to talk to? There he is. Show me what you got. And we're going to go ahead and sell that. That, that. All the good stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and check these prices. Wow, 112. We can go ahead and sell those. 
he has room. Let's see what he has here. He has food for that's uh, not worth buying. All right, we're not gonna buy anything here, but and we don't have really room here to sell to. But we'll see if it'll, it'll let us sell. Nope, can't sell. It. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and head on then. All right, I'll um I'll get caught up once we get to eye socket and hopefully we'll make some good money there. Okay, so we're coming in on eye socket. Hopefully we'll be able to make some money off of everything that we've we've brought with us. Also, I was able to keep some extra armor to sell. We have seven narcotics that we can sell. Wait a minute. Is it showing how much we can make in this area? Ah, oh, that's amazing. I hope that's what it's showing me. Because if that's true, then I'm in the right place. <laughs> um, that is very cool. If, if we're coming into this town area and it's giving us the prices for that town, it would allow us to be able to walk around the... The area, not the area, but the whole map and say, if I'm in this area over here, if I'm going to make enough money to even make it worth stopping there. Of course, if you're going to travel out this far, you're only going to travel out that far once with the kind of stuff that you're trying to sell. All right, we're almost there. Something else I wanted to bring up is that there are these little circles, which are cannibal villages, and some of them are some, yeah, cannibal village too. There's this place, which is really close to that cannibal village, which is a trading outpost. I'm guessing they come under attack a lot. Cannibals are the worst thing in this game so far. Uh, though there are monsters and big kind of Animals that are going to be added to the game soon uh, whenever they get done with the testing phase But right now cannibals are literally the worst. They don't have the best weapons, but they are light and they're fast Then the fact is that they don't usually If you pass out or go unconscious They don't they don't just leave you to die. They take you back to their home to put you in cages to eat. Uh, I don't know if they eat you, but they definitely take the mannerisms of as if they were going to eat you, giving you a little bit of time to try to escape. Of course, if you try to escape and you get knocked out again, then you have to deal with the fact of you're relocked back up. It's kind of annoying. But once we get up to a point, we definitely want to try to take on the cannibals because that would be fun. <laughs> Alright, there's a trade outpost here that I know of, and then there's a second trade outpost right here. So, if we find something here that we like, that we want to buy a lot of, most likely we can buy more of it over here. So, let's go ahead and check this out. And if we are correct, show me what you got. Um, these are 113, 112, oh my goodness, it's better. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Now, before I buy anything, I'm gonna go ahead and find a normal armor or weapons merchant so that I can drop all or get rid of this. Here's a weapons merchant here. So I can get rid of this armor and these weapons or the weapon that I have because uh, if I sell to this guy, he's gonna fill up his inventory. And then I'll still have to go sell it to someone else. And you can see that this armor is so heavy that I'm still having to walk. The actual weight of the stuff that I was carrying, the actual trade goods, was only around 23 or 24. Uh, must be some kind of industrial building there. Alright, let's go ahead and see what he has. Show me what you got. And we're going to sell all these. Sell that. Now we're at 13,000. And let's go ahead and trade. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to get chain. 
Because chain sells good in a lot of locations. Uh, don't steal me. Okay. We'll talk to this guy then. Show me what you got. And let's check chain. For oh my goodness. Oh yes. <laughs> we definitely want to buy all the chain. Let's see what else he has. Anything else worth getting? Nope. 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 All right, let's go over to this guy over here and buy the chain and then see if there's a construction place here too. If there is, we can buy chain there as well, I believe, but I don't think there is. I don't, I don't think this town specifically has one. Nope. Okay. Either way, we are set to go for, uh, if we can get some chain from this guy. I'm gonna get a full hull of chain. Show me what you show me. Show it to me. Alright. Let's get all that. All that. Up. Oh, we're we're at we're low on money. Alright, does he have anything different here than what the other guy had? Uh, he has medical supplies, luxury goods, steel bars. We'll buy them if we can afford them. Yeah. All right, so now we're at 36 over 18. As you see, his uh, total weight has gone up already. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We've done a lot of talking, mostly. Next time, we're going to really get on the game and get some money going. I think what I'll go ahead and do is just farm up a lot of money before the next time we play by just going in this rotation between these three cities. And then once we do that, then we will start building our force and start building our town and getting our research done because before we actually build a town we want to get our research going really well so all right guys i will talk to you next time thank you so much for watching this is cypher deck peace out